All right, welcome Forex traders. This is Dr. Keith. Happy Thursday evening. Hope you're doing well. All right, so just kind of let's go through here. Um, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. Again, kind of more of a did nothing today on uh, this currency. Still up 300 pips on that last lot. And we'll, again, all the risk is off. I've got my stop right up here. I'm going to keep it right here for now. British pound Swiss, British pound chef, same thing here. I'm kind of a sideways day. I'm up 268, 268 pips at the moment on, on that. So again, I've, I've got my stop right here on my last lot to eliminate all risk here. Just waiting for hopefully a bigger move up now. So again, just as a reminder on the Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, I did get stopped out on just a five pit pip gain on this yesterday and it is moving up higher. Would have hit profit target one off, I left it um, as is, but as I mentioned, um, because we were up so much on the other two trades that there was no reason to keep risk out there, so I had put my stop at plus five, and then it had just barely wicked me yesterday and got me out of this trade. But again, if I would have left it, we would have hit profit target one. So just, just showing you again the power of the seasonal concept. All right, so British pound, Australian dollar. I, I want to be bullish on this. There's a great seasonal coming up here on the British pound, Aussie dollar. I'm not going to take this trade tonight, though, even though I love these wicks. See these wicks right here, folks? I mean, this, this could be a bottom, okay? But I, I want to actually get a day that we move up before I get into this trade. Um, so maybe tomorrow night. Or actually, that'll be Friday, right? Today's Thursday, so it'll be Friday night. So maybe going into Sunday night, I will look to to go long. Uh, I'm very patient on my swing trades because I want to get the you know best entries, and um, just not quite ready yet. But we will be going long here shortly on British pound, Australian dollar. I am looking to short U.S. dollar, Swiss, U.S. dollar, Chef. Um, again, be impatient and. Price actually went up again today. So I'm just gonna hold off at this point and, and wait for a good potential uh, move to the downside before I were to short US dollar chef. And Euro pound, another one I'm looking at folks, looking for a long play here. Um, again, this could be close to a bottom. Nobody knows, right? But uh, I'm in a good seasonal long coming right now. So once I get the, you can see here, the CCI is heading up. Um, but once once we do get that that leg higher, I will look to go long euro pound. So again, just to kind of summarize, I'm in two trades right now: New Zealand dollar yen, where I'm up 302 pips; British pound chef up 268. And I've got a few brewing here that I want to take here. Uh, could be Sunday night, right? So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested, just click on the link below and do your risk-free trial. Other than that, have a great day, everybody. Take care now. Bye.